the bankrupt bookseller. Uh, two more short sections. Trade books. Two books on my trade have come uh, my way this week, and there is something in both worth noting. These notes are to make me a better bookseller. They aim at clearing up my ideas, and the writing of them fills up my time. My first, like an acrostic, is A for American. It is an American book by Ruth Brown Park on bookshops and how to run them. In the first chapter, the authoress writes a thing to which my heart warms and which incidentally discloses why a bookshop became my choice of business. It is worth writing down for my own satisfaction. I can always set these contentions against the bills and financial problems which often outface me. Quote, Books underneath their square surface value carry realms of further interior interest. You may not only pick, up, pick them up and hold their solid circum, circumference in your hands, but you may open them, peer into their unfolding pages, and bury yourself into the delights of those pages. Then, when they have surfeited yourself with these delights, you may, that, you may pass them on to your patrons for money. We know of no other business where a merchant may both have his cake and eat it at the same time. The other book is published by Constable. It is called Forty Years in My Bookshop. The author is Walter T. Spencer. But I cannot write anything about it after all. Forty years. I will not be forty years in my bookshop. When I am dead. Perfect weather, and I was glad to shut my shop and go up the hillside that surrounded this place where I work and live. I lay on the grass outstretched. I blinked up at the sky and tree and was uh, suffused with a sheer physical pleasure. I turned over and peered into the grass. It was living, it was living with beetles and ants and small spiders and flies and insects. A worm cast was among the roots of the grass. With a spade of life, with a squirming, writhing multitude, there is uh, us, of us all. On my way back again, hands clasped behind my head, uh, legs sprawled ungainly, I thought, as I often do, of death. This would be the a way to die, I thought. Life would just pass away from the body into which it, uh, into which it, it was so strangely breathed itself that would do. I would be then as I was when Julius Caesar came to England. I would be then as I was when Queen Elizabeth so strongly told her captains to do battle with Spain. I would be as I was then when Napoleon saw his dream was dust. I would be content if it can come in that way. My only misgiving is my carcass. How repulsive is the idea to me of my late housing being lifted, one at the head, one at the feet, with me hanging lumpily and limply between being lifted and carried away. They lie so still, those mortuary bodies. <laughs>